Welcome to day five of the macOS and iOS security internals advent calendar. Today we will be looking into the iOS memory layout for user space processes. And let's dive in. When it comes to the memory layout of a user space process uh, on ARM64, um, the layout fully depends on uh, the configuration of the MMU uh, for user land. So when it comes to ARC64, uh, which is what we use on ARM64, uh, um, there is a system register called TCR underscore EL1. As you can see here on the screen, uh, it has uh, many bits uh, that can be used to configure the memory management unit. And uh, in our case, the important bits are the T0 size and the TG0 because they are what influencing the user space uh, memory layout. So um, on iOS devices, and of course also on uh, Apple M1s, uh, this configuration is done very early on the startup code in the kernel. And you can see in the early startup code that uh, a specific hard-coded value is written into this register. Uh, here is an extract of some historic uh, values for different iOS versions and different iOS devices. Um, basically, on newer devices and newer iOS versions, you can basically say that this here is uh, the way to go. This is the uh, current configuration of this a register. So, but now what does this uh, value mean? Um, what, what is it basically selecting? So, uh, the first thing that it basically selects is uh, the TG0 value. And this is uh, a flag that controls the granularity of pages uh, in user space. The granularity of pages means how big is actually a page in user land. And the possible selections are basically 4 kilobyte, 16 kilobyte, or 64 kilobyte. Uh, that's defined in the ARM uh, hardware uh, setup, basically. Uh, when it comes to iOS and macOS, uh, the default is basically to use 16 kilobyte userland pages. So that would be here the medium size then. Uh, the next thing that is controlled by this value uh, is the T0 size field uh, in uh, basically that's how big the user land address space is. Uh, as you can see here, uh, we have usually a kernel address space, a user land address space, and then in between is all unpaged memory. And the value in T0 size basically specifies the size of this region, as uh, this formula specifies here, 2 to the power of 64 minus whatever this field is. And this is how big the user space region basically is. And when you look at the, di at the different values for different iOS uh, versions and different iOS devices, you will basically be able to see that um, for the old devices, um, there was a time where it was configured like this. Uh, so you had a, a user address space from 0 to F, 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 F. And then uh, for the newer devices uh, back then, you had uh, one FF and so on. And then uh, starting at 11.2, uh, for the old devices, it would go from 0 to 3 F, 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 and so on. And for everything since iOS 11.2 on the newer devices uh, would be from 0 to 7F F, and so on. So you can see, depending on the target uh, device, uh, you would have different sizes of how big the user land address space uh, virtually is. So uh, obviously nowadays on newer devices, new targets, it would all be like this here. So that's the value would nowadays have to deal with. So now that's the basic idea. How big is the address space? Now the question is, where are the uh, different elements of a process basically loaded to? 
And the first thing is, of course, the main binary. So the question is, where is the main binary put into this area? And the code for that is basically in the kernel, in the so-called mach loader. And um, what you can see here is, uh, what it calculates here is the ASLR page offset and the ASLR section offset which basically limits a little bit where the uh, value can be. But at the same time, it also calcul calculates a page offset for the dynamic linker. So the kernel basically takes care of the randomization of the main binary and also of the dynamic uh, linker. Uh, one thing that you need to know here is that theoretically this is all disabled if the uh, main binary doesn't have the uh, position independent executable flag set in its uh, Mach header. So if that flag is missing, the ASLR is basically disabled here. So uh, yeah, this is again uh, mentioned here. Basically, uh, the main binary is slit uh, starting usually at this address here plus uh, the slide value that was previously calculated by randomness. And um, this year is basically a convention that the first four gigabyte of the address space is not used. So uh, that's the base address of the main binary normally when you compile it. Uh, theoretically, that can be changed uh, with certain compiler flags, but this is the default. So um, everything that's before that is what is considered the so-called page zero in Mac OS and iOS. And uh, by default, every single uh, app that you compile, every program that you compile always has a page zero segment in their uh, Mach header. And the idea is this page zero area is inaccessible. And by default, yes, it's the first four gigabytes but because of ASLR, actually this area in between that you was that we slid, it is also made inaccessible. So now that was the main binary. Now the next question is where will the dynamic linker be loaded? Uh, the dynamic linker used to have basically a fixed load address, and then uh, the ASLR was. Uh, basically uh, relative to that. But nowadays it's basically re uh, relocated depending on the end of the main binary. So basically the uh, dynamic linker will be loaded to the base plus the slide of the main binary plus the size of the main binary plus the size of the dynamic linker slide uh, that was also uh, randomly generated by the kernel. So now we have the dynamic linker, we have the main binary. Uh, now we know that all the libraries are normally located in the dynamic uh, uh, shared, in a dual shared cage. Uh, when I say libraries, this also includes all the frameworks, of course. So everything that's default on macOS and iOS will be in this dual shared cage. So. Um, how random this dual shared cage can be and where it's loaded is uh, hard coded basically inside uh, the header of the shared cage. Uh, I discussed this yesterday. And here you can basically see that um, it will uh, calculate the max slide uh, value uh, as random. Now, basically, the max slide is defined and it takes a random value from there uh, 16 kilobyte aligned. Uh, there's also apparently a boot argument that you can use to disable this uh, randomization. But aside from that, this code here basically uh, randomizes all the mappings of the cage by simply adding uh, the slide that is calculated here by a simple random number. So now we have the main binary dynamic linker and we have the shared cage. What remains is, oh yeah, before we go through that, um, since iOS 15, this changed a little bit. Uh, I mentioned earlier that since iOS 15, there have been changes to the cage, like sub cages and so on, and that there's a new system call that is now responsible for most of the loading. And this is shared region map and slide 2 and P. 
And this is now not only the mapping, it's also the randomization part, so that the dynamic linker does not learn, no longer need to randomize it. This is now done all inside uh, the kernel. But in the end, when you look at the code in the kernel, you will see it basically reads the maximum slides, it creates a random value, and again, it uh, basically extracts the uh, random value, the bits that we are that we care about, um, like this is also 16 bit, uh, 16 by uh, 16 kilobyte aligned and so on. And so basically that's just like calculating uh, how big uh, the slide should be. Again, random, uh, but here it uses read random, which is basically um, the kernel uh, random number generator. So again, it's mostly the same. It's just like the difference between uh, I, before iOS 15 was done in the, in the dynamic linker from user land. And now it's basically done in the kernel uh, by uh, the loader, by the system call basically. So, okay, we now have the um, main binary, the dynamic linker. We have the um, big shared cage. Now the question is, where is the stack? of the main uh, uh, binary, the, the main thread stack. And uh, there's a hard-coded address in the kernel, which is 16FE uh, five times the zero. And that's the base address of the stack hard-coded inside the kernel at the moment. And what they do now is they take the same slide as the main binary and just use this as a subtraction from this base. So it basically goes back by that many bytes, uh, the same way the main binary went upwards. Um, the default stack size is basically one megabyte, and the lowest page is then made into a guard page, so that when you have a stack overflow uh, through the end of that, uh, you basically hit a guard page, which will automatically always uh, trigger uh, an ex exception in case of an overrun or overread. Okay, so that's the uh, main binary, dynamic linker, the uh, big blob of cage, and the, the, the stack. The one thing missing is basically uh, the dynamic libraries that a process can optionally load that are non-standard and are not coming from the dill shared cage. Um, so the code for that uh, it would be in the dynamic linker and um, of course the code changes over time uh, because they always keep improving the code inside the dynamic linker. Uh, so this here was taking at some point of time to visualize what's actually happening here. Um, the idea is that they are directly loaded after the main binary but there's always a random amount of pages in between. So we have the main binary, then we have a random amount of pages, then we load the lib one. We have again a random amount of pages, lib two, random amount of pages, lib three, and so on. And uh, there is some uh, limit to how many pages this could be. I believe it was like seven or so pages that can be uh, different, but again, all of this can change over time and always depends on the dynamic linker. So it's usually best to grab the source code from the dynamic linker from open source apple.com and just look into each specific version and see if the defines uh, changed and so on. So you know uh, for sure that uh, it's still the same value uh, and so on. Okay, and that was basically it about the uh, uh, memo layout, what you would expect, where is what inside the uh, uh, memory. Uh, when it comes to heap and so on, uh, that's of course a different kind of topic, but that's basically uh, fully dependent on uh, how randomized the MMAP usually is. Um, so that can be anywhere, but there's actually some linearity in um, the MMAP randomization so that uh, stuff is like growing in uh, linear fashion most of the time on most iOS versions. So um, let's have a look at this little gift here. Uh, basically because it's Christmas, there is one Amazon gift code hidden somewhere on this slide deck uh, within the video. 
and whoever concatenates the hints uh, first will be able to use this uh, Amazon gift code. It's a 15 euro gift code. Uh, it will be a merry early Christmas to whoever uh, gets it. And basically uh, the hint of the structure um, is xxx dash six times x dash four times x. So that's the kind of code you are looking for and it's hidden uh, somewhere inside. Yes, and uh, that's it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little slide deck. Uh, tomorrow uh, will be the next door to open and uh, let's see what we have in, uh, in store for that too.